Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys an advanced audio technique in Camtasia. Okay, so I came across doing this when I was creating the promo video for the Camtasia course that we have. So if you don't know, I recently just released a Camtasia course and I had to create a promo video for it. And this is the actual project for the promo video. And I had to do this audio technique, otherwise the audio was going to sound really bad in a certain part. And I'll play you the part in just a second. So this part right here, as you can see, I'm on the screen here in the bottom right hand corner. And then I've got a video here on my actual computer screen. Now. What's going to happen is I'm going to do a little bit of talking and then I'm going to play this video from the course. It's the first like little introduction type promo video and then I'm going to zoom in on it. Now I'll show you what the finished product looks and sounds like and then I'll take away what I did and you can see how much of an improvement there is. So pretty much a nine hour course. So I'm going to play you the first video, which is basically like the promo slash intro. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so this is the ultimate Camtasia course. I've personally been editing with the Camtasia editing software since 2011. And okay, so that's a little, little bit of it right there. So as you can hear, the audio sounds fine. It's super clear and it's great, but initially it was not like that. So when I was doing this screen record, this is what it originally sounded like. So I'm going to zoom in here. So I'm going to move this and I'm going to raise the audio on the screen because I silenced it. and I'll play it right now. Intro. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so this is the ultimate Camtasia course. I've personally been editing with the Camtasia editing software since 2011. So you can hear that the audio quality is a lot poorer than the final product. And that's because when I was playing this video of my screencast recording, it was recording off of my computer. And you obviously you're not going to get the best sound quality other than the original. So if you have headphones on and you're listening to this audio, I've edited over a it's actually really hard on the ears. And when I was editing this and I was listening to uh, when I edit, I always use headphones it sounded like really painful to hear when you're coming from this sound and it's at eight. this and then you go to this we been editing it really hurt the ears so i didn't want that for the viewers so i wanted to fix that and put the original audio instead so this audio right here the one that i'm moving this is from the original video this video right here on the screen so I did a little bit of like a matrix inception thing. So this right here, it looks like, you know, I'm on the computer screen and then I zoom in on it and then it's actually the audio from the original. So what you need to do is grab your audio from your original video. And in this case, it was right here and I separated the audio. So I had this right here. This was the original video that I had. You can see it right here. Now, you might be wondering like, oh, why don't you just put that instead? Well, I wanted the effect of I'm on the actual course of like on, on the computer on desktop. This is what it would look like. And then I wanted the effect of zooming in on, on playing the actual video. So that's why I didn't use the actual video clip, which is right here. So from here, I extracted the audio and I just did a right click and I did separate audio from video 
and then I took the audio part, which is this part right here. So I'll delete this. So that's what I did. I was left with this, and then I went over here to where I wanted to replace the bad audio, and then I did like a major zoom in. You need to zoom in all the way so that you get the correct placement. So I'm zooming in completely and I matched the two audio up. So you can see that they do look similar. This one's a little bit lower than this one, but they have the same kind of shapes. And all I did was match it up so that it would replace the bad audio. Now, if I play it here, Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. If you listen closely, you can hear two audios happening at once. So you want to make sure that you mute the bad audio. So I'm going to, you can either click edit audio or silence audio, but you can click edit audio and then manually lower it down to make sure that it's all the way down. And then you can now play it. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. So it looks like I'm playing it from my computer on the actual course screen with good audio, but in reality, it's not good audio, it's crap audio, but you just replace it with the good audio from the original video. And then when you do that, then the finished product looks really good and it sounds really good and I was pleased with the output. So that is how you do this advanced audio technique in Camtasia. If you guys do want to check out my Camtasia course, it's a nine hour course that I created. I put a lot of effort and passion into it and I've got so many tutorials, so many different kinds of things just like this in that course. And you guys can get two months free access by heading down to the description below. You guys can click the link, get two months free access. I am also going to be continuing to add to this course so it is going to be a growing course. So if I was able to help you out at all, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment, or a subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.